solve the natural log of x plus 1 minus the natural log of x equals 2. Solution. So in this problem, we have two logarithms on one side and a number on the other. Because we have a minus sign here, a good idea might be to combine the logs. You can do that using what's called the quotient rule for logarithms. You have the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. That's equal to the natural log of a over b. So here, this is our a, and this is our b. So this is the natural log of a, which is x plus 1, over the natural log of b, which is x. And all of this is equal to 2. So that's called the quotient rule. So now we need to get rid of the log. So there's a formula that says if you have e to the ln x, you get x. So here we have an ln, so we're just missing the e. So what we'll do is we'll put it there, and we'll put it here. We'll exponentiate both sides. Then just like they go away in the formula, they go away here. So we have x plus 1 over x equals e squared. To solve for x now, we just simply have to clear the fraction. So I'll put an x here, and we'll put one here. So these cancel, so we have x plus 1 equals e squared times x. And we're looking for x, so it's a good idea to get them all on one side together. So maybe let's just go ahead and subtract x here like this. So we have 1 equals e squared times x minus x. Now that we have them all together on one side, we can factor out an x. So we can put it here like this and put a parentheses. And it looks like we're missing an e squared because x times e squared is x times e squared. And then minus 1. That's because x times minus 1 is minus x. This is being multiplied by e squared minus 1, so to solve for x, we'll simply divide both sides by e squared minus 1. So these cancel, so we're left with x equals 1 over e squared minus 1. This would be the solution to this equation.